Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Toy T. I haven't been on camera in a while. And I felt like maybe it's time for me to make a video. I just came from uh, one of my friend's houses where they have their fantasy football draft, which I had no absolute any kind of interest in because I don't follow football. But it did bring up a subject that I felt like I should talk about and since I'm going to be starting a new blog about life in the 30s and different stuff, um, I felt like I should talk about this. This whole idea of the angry black female. I really, I've read a lot of articles about how people feel that um, it is definitely a term that needs to be retired and I completely agree on it. I feel like I do have a very diverse group of friends um, and most of them are, are people of color, they're not all black. Uh, and I do hang out with a whole bunch of males. Um, and I feel most of the time that I get kind of categorized as this angry black female. And maybe for me, and I'm not trying to bring colorism into it, but uh, for most of my friends, they seem to have some kind of preference or whatever, you know, whatever they do. But they, they, I have really already noticed that most of my male friends that I am very close with here in Boston are dating or married to like light skin, probably biracial, half white, half black, whatever females, which is fine or whatever. But it's kind of very glaring when you're sitting at a table with a whole bunch of people and you realize that you are the dumbest female at that table and you're like, okay, so is there something wrong with me? Um, seeing that I'm definitely friends with these guys, but yet there's so somehow they all seem to be dating the same type of girl that is light skin with curly hair and I don't look anything even close to that. Um, and so I feel that every time that I bring up subjects about things that affect me as a black female in Boston that they tend to dismiss it and categorize me as just being some angry black female when a lot of the times I'm not angry I'm just frustrated and there's a difference between frustration and anger uh, I'm not trying to go out there and freaking I feel like anger is like a very strong emotion and most of the time I'm just frustrated it's just something that I'm feeling something that I'm expressing and as you know, when you have friends, you feel like you should be able to address certain issues that affect your everyday life with them. And I feel like, especially since the majority of my friend, my close friends that are in Boston are males, um, that they don't quite understand my plight. And even talking about just race issues, again, when I talk about race issues with friends and my students and all this other stuff, that... I always say that I can't talk about the experience of being a black man because I'm not a black man. And I feel like the same thing when I'm even talking to my friends that are black men, um, that they don't even try to semi even understand the plight that I have or my experiences as a black woman in Boston. So when I talk about that as a black woman that has a preference for dating black men, that Boston is just absolutely like not popping and it just makes dating just absolutely frustrating and for the birds they just don't get it um and even when I'm had, trying to have a conversation with them like talking today when I said like I came to this fantasy football draft and two of them brought you know had their girlfriend or wives there and they just both happened to be light-skinned with curly hair and I mentioned that you know I was kind of offended that they didn't eat they left and, and went off shopping or went for drinks and didn't even invite me and I, I understand that they may be you know I don't know maybe they thought that I was there to hang out with the guys but I definitely didn't have my name on the fantasy draft and I wasn't even even in the same area where the guys were even working on their fantasy draft picks and I wasn't even given as the other female in the room that I didn't even know when they left and they never even asked me if I wanted to uh, even come with them to get to actually have the option to say yes or no and that just really offended me and somehow they took it as me being angry and every time I had mentioned something that upsets me or affects my feelings is angry and I'm just tired of it I'm tired of this of every time that you know I bring up something or have a frustration 
that it comes off as me being an angry black female and I'm really far from being angry I'm, I'm really not um, half the time most people will tell me that they most people will say that I, it doesn't seem like I even care about stuff I'm pretty aloof to most people that I don't know um, and for the people that are in my inner circle and that are my friends I care very strongly about them especially as a cancer like I just feel very deeply about the relationships that I have with people and so saying that I'm coming off as angry is um, very far from it because I feel like most of my emotions for the last few years have been either aloof or sad or depressed or just in a very content and happy way or just frustrations and frustration is is a natural mood and feeling and yet somehow I you know they, it comes to a point where they make me feel like I can't even be frustrated so just this is just like a conversation and I wish I just heard about her back from other people um, about this topic and what do you think about it but like I just try to have a conversation with them I was like you know and like one friend actually said like you every time he's like you know most of the time I feel like you do sound like an angry black female and it's like no I'm actually take, making you know a point and maybe you should think about the point that like if I was a male you would just think that I was just loud and opinionated um and the fact that I hang out with mostly guys uh, wouldn't it make sense that I have to be very aggressive and loud to get my point across when I hang out with a whole bunch of guys with a lot of testosterone? There's no way that I'm going to get uh, my my point across with, you know, six, eight, nine, ten guys in a room and, you know, I'm trying to put off feminine energy, which I don't even know what that is. Uh, and I even brought up the point with the fact that, like I said, like a lot of people tell me, if you ever saw my father, I look just like my father. I'm pretty much like a female version of him. There's a mixture of my mother in there too, but like I'm not very far off from his personality and that most people would say that my father is very loud and jovial. And even my friend said like, your, your father is like super nice. He's like a really like happy-go-lucky guy. And I'm like, no, most people will tell you that, you know, yeah you can say that but he will be talking about you know he can be arguing about something and no one's come you know coming off and telling him that he is an angry black man but then if I have the same kind of um kind of like energy or fever like people were telling me that I am an angry black female and I just don't like the double standards and I would just like to hear what you guys think about it I wanted to, to record this now while I'm still thinking about it because I'm just still kind of on edge about um just the conversation that I try to have with my male friends and I crap I need a place to get this out and hopefully you find you guys find it entertaining so anyway I'll see you guys later this is getting really long all right bye